wanted just to be UNLV. They went to win the national title, and they did. Heavy favorites today, Duke. UNLV has it first, and the sophomore guard, Jalen Poyser, 17 and a half points a game for him. He's only one of three guys that remain on the team after Marvin Menzies got the job really, really late. He was actually the second choice. Chris Beard was hired, went to Texas Tech a couple of weeks later, replacing Dave Rice. This is Poyser. Talented, multi-talented, very versatile. And a foul call as Grayson Allen goes down. Marvin Benz, he's very active on that sideline. Heard a lot of great things about him from Rick Pitino. He was on Rick Pitino. Got him around the neck after the whistle. And so our officials ran a tilly. Up there next to Reba. Had yourself a good night for Duke. He's one for two. You know, people have been questioning he's not just not practiced. What did Mike Krzyzewski tell us today for like four or five weeks? Has not practiced. Yeah, it's been uh, five weeks for Grayson Alley, not doing anything in practice. And it's been six weeks since they had Jason Tatum, who just came back against Florida as one thing for UNLV and Morgan. I think the one thing's impressive right now early in the game. You see the kids at UNLV giving their best. I mean, they're limited in their talent, obviously, versus Duke's talent. UNLV in at five and three. Allen found himself open and knocks it down. What a great look right there by back into practice. Hard drive by Poyser and a whistle too. Poyser missed the free throw. He's at 80. The limiting talent they have, they almost have to be perfect. They gotta make free throws, they can't turn the ball over. It's amazing how it's flipped. UNLV was the big favorite back in 1991. Now Duke comes in here, and Kennard so talented. Absolutely. Allen got it on a double clutch. Terrific drive right there by Grayson Allen. Showing again his private ability. Six for the junior, Grayson Allen. And they're a foul as Green. Scoot against the Duke pressure. You know, it's interesting. They scored. Bobby Hurley, one of the greats, made the big shot to beat UNLV. I mean, he made a championship and beat Kansas, Mark Ramble and company. Then the next year, he won another one against Michigan, two of the five. Well, Mike Krzyzewski. They were like UNLV. They were the favorites to follow with you. Emil Jefferson, hard drive for two. He's been sensational for them. He's really done a great job. He was he was unreal against Florida. I mean, he was a key in that game. He's Florida, very good basketball team. Kevin White, the AD at Duke's son, Mike White, doing a solid job with that Florida Gator program. Played him to a 10-point decision. That one's knocked away. Floated ahead to Allen. Grayson Allen finishes. He looks just a little bit quicker on the floor. I mean, Duke has eight McDonald's High School All-Americans. Boring has his pass intercepted, and here comes Duke one more time. Allen off the oh, cross! Oh, he looks quick, but he looks like he's healthy. And that spells trouble for their opposition. Grayson Allen, that's the first offensive, unbelievable spark that I've seen out of him thus far. He's been a great job passing the ball this year. And he has not had that ability to do what he just did. Coming back for that toe injury. Looks pretty good today. Kennard this time for two more. A couple of championships. Well, he played for Coach Calhoun at Northeastern. was a heck of a player there. Down low, Marquise Bolden gets the roll. Let's start getting him back to shape physically. He had a lower leg injury. Got two quick fouls the other night against Florida. He played two minutes because Emil Jefferson was having an incredible night. Yeah, Jefferson, double double machine, 24 points, 15 rebounds. And nice try. That attack gets two. In shape. He's got a good rhythm of playing games, practicing, and he'll be fine. Takes a little while, right? Yeah, he was blocked a big time by Kentucky. Jalen Poyser 
tough fadeaway. Second chance is there for Morgan. Nice play by Morgan. And Florida played such a gutty game. Number three in the ESPN 100 coming out of school in St. Louis as that bank shot goes down for a yeah, Green's been very good 16 out of 33 nearly 50 percent. That's pretty good math man. I it like that. Certainly is good a quick addition that layup is good and Duke is getting points from everywhere Frank Jackson the freshman with that. He's had some great moments for Duke this year Frank Jackson from out of Utah. A Fabu. Couldn't get it to go. Tipped out. Nicely done by Poiser. Back to a Fabu. A Fabu to give it. Kick to Kennard, and he stops the run. You know, you made a job taking his job. Happens fast nowadays, doesn't it? You don't have to worry about wins and losses anymore. <laughs> Up top, Troy Baxter, and he's fouled. Great recruiting ability. He's got a. Terrific plan to sell here. Played tournament three years ago as a five seed. Well, there were 18 15 the last. You know, you think of a Rob Jeter's on his staff as well. Outstanding. He a, did a fine job when he was at Milwaukee. Allen off the screen. Sinks the three. He just struck it. Dembele and UNLV. First meeting between these two. In 25 years, last time they saw each other was three years after you were in Naked Gun. <laughs> Naked Gun, yeah, I love fun doing that movie. Cameo, oh, steal. Knocked away, Kennard, free run to the rim. He's been. Sets up Jefferson and a foul. It's going to be some big battles. Hey, here's, here's what you want to become as a freshman leading up to your senior year. Great point, Jason. Jefferson side with his drop steps, his offensive moves around the basket, utilizing either hand. A oh, five double. Bolden going to work. How about a third chance and stripped away, taken by Morgan and UNLV. Wide open, got to make it. Mooring knocks it down. Gotta and you're out of Chicago, Jovan Mooring. With his seventh three of the year for UNLV. Fourth meeting all time, Duke and UNLV, the two memorable ones in 90 and 91. Well, Duke doesn't want to remember the one in 90. What a nice move. It was a great moment, though, for Duke. Set the toe, like Mike said today, as the score is inside again. Bolden. Power. Yeah, Bolden showing him the ability around the basket. He said he got to win one before he can win five, and that was the start. Nearly stolen by Allen. Another one in the corner. Had so many players recently coming out of Canada. Andrew Wiggins sticking in one. One of the top players in nice that pass. country coming out. Morris nice finishes. Nice. And they're going fast. They're selling 1,500 chances, and all the dollars go for kids battling cancer. Just go to dickvitaleonline.com. Can I win even though I've worked with you now? Yeah, you can win. Absolutely. That's good to know. Bush for three, Larry Bush. Certainly super when you think about guys like, for example, Murray. What about Murray from out of Gonzaga? I mean, those guys are all guys. Except Phenomenal player for Gonzaga and Mark Few for years. They got an outstanding team. I love that Gonzaga team. I think it'll be a battle. Who's the best out on the West Coast? UCLA or Gonzaga? Poiser. I told him today, I said, if I was coaching in Detroit, you would have never got out of the city. Is that right? Well, it's still the game. It's, it's the 25th anniversary. 25th anniversary, and in fact, opening up a new building. You know, Thomas Mack, you mentioned that. There's a big time rodeo going on. It's like the. Cliver and the shot won't go. We're going to get you tickets for the rodeo. We're going to extend your trip one day and get you in there for the finals. Way through the season is when that starts. Yeah, you're right about that. Think about the college football season. So if we could, if we could talk to our graphics people and erase that five next to Duke for the moment. 
There's a steal for UNLV that went awry and a foul called as Jefferson goes up. First one no good for Jefferson. Big game of the TV plus against a good Florida team. Down to the end of the half. This is good if it goes, and it did not. So UNLV fights back, but great. Sure he told me John Diebla, number one. And it was followed by right there, and then Jay Burson was number three. There's Emil Jefferson for the slam, but look at Two coming down to the end of the non-conference season. Two games left away from ACC play. Nine and one right now with the only loss to Kansas. Allen with some English knocks it down. Empty Morgan. Grayson Allen sees a seam and stops it off. Short range shot wouldn't fall for Duke down low. And Tatum. You know, we haven't heard a lot to do. I think it's Zach Collins they talked about. It. Uh, Snoop's son as well was a wide receiver for Bishop Gorman, Cordell Broadus. Relax, go see Jay Long. That's where you're going tonight? I'm going to see Jay Long. My invitation was lost yeah. in the mail yet again. Uh, Jennifer Lopez. Uh, yeah. Jump shot falls easily for Tatum. So wait, you, uh, yesterday you did Reba and Brooks and Dunn. Yep. Tonight. You're doing J Lo. And tomorrow, Jeff Dunham is a great ventriloquist. You're going there too? Yes, tomorrow. My goodness, make the most of it. Got to keep the wife happy. Floater for Green. The war was here. Yep. My first date with my wife, Lorraine, was Dion. How about that? He is now, Dick. Well, he's certainly got to get better in terms of playing on the defensive end. He handles the ball well. I always used to call him my John Havlicek. Maybe for your time, Havlicek played so hard. And, and what you've done with that foundation, but what sports can do to help get rid of these awful diseases is you. I am honored to be here too. So thank you, Dick. Appreciate that. But America got the line. 88% and growing. But my point is. I've been blessed, and I love people. I love people. Well, you can positively affect people, and you've shown that over the course of time in this game and, and in the world. Thank you, Jason. Absolutely. Duke leading by 23. You guys surprised me, though. I have no idea. Yet. Well, congratulations. Grayson Allen for three more. 26-point game for Duke. It's basically what we thought. You know, we really thought it was going to be this way. We talked about it. just too much talent to perfection. Why does that fit work so well? Well, it works so well because he's number one. He's a great leader. Number two, he understands the academics of Duke. And he's got three, players, too. Yeah, I also want to send a salute out today to Bob Huggins. What is 790 in coaching or a bad law medicine? 90% of those that wear that badge do the right thing and they care about people. Man, we got to give them more respect. Jason Tatum drilled. You don't hear a lot about two stars going to Durham, do you? <laughs> you don't have many Dick Vitale's going to Durham, I tell you that. Academically or athletically. There's a three for Kennard. It's an Revenge for 1990, 26 years later, that 30-point win for UNLV in the championship game. That'll be two and a foul. Nice drive. No. Steve Winners, we know, one of the incredible builders of this area. Well, we saw in 1991 of the strip, there are a lot of new buildings, that's for sure. Oh, what a nice pass. What a nice pass. You see Tatum running the court. He's just getting a little game action. They got to keep him on the floor, Tatum. He's getting used to playing again. Well, Mike Chichet. They've been without Harry Giles. Bolden just coming back. As you said earlier, he took the job and then decided to go to Texas Tech. Publicly flirting with UNLV. Didn't end up taking the job. Then Beard comes and leaves after a short time. As Allen, oh, that's a tough shot. Yeah. Grayson Allen got the roll. He's got the backspin, the good touch. People have his career high of 33 from last December. You can see right out of the gate, he felt it. 
had a couple of real strong drives to the goal. The one key in Duke's offensive sets, phenomenal spacing. They space really well. Oh, oh my goodness, Evan! What timing! What timing! I didn't know game. that. Yep. Wow! You talk about a special, special event. Oh, the bank for three! The bank! Tim Brando would be screaming, the bank is open! Like, they really need the bank to be open, too. On the other end, UNLV gets to him. Have you been to the Army? Revs the engine and scores. Look how smooth. Silky smooth. I remember when I did the Olympic Games back there, and our first great, great Olympic team, and I mean, you know, all those great players, Magic, Bird, Barkley, et cetera. And that team, Jordan, the European countries and the far use that as a criteria, the standard players. Jeter got the block. Now he goes to work and missed. Third chance is there. I'd like to see Jeter do something positive. Jones with his first bucket there. 88 turns to 90 now for Duke. Poiser. Got the three. Nice shot right there by Poison. He's not afraid to shoot. No, he's not. What about? He's a backup to Rob Pollock. There's a little man. Delorier, another duck for Duke. Delorier gets up. Uh, a couple good games later on, by the way, this weekend, Sunday. Hofstra and Kentucky, then Carolina, Tennessee, the Tar Heels. Pretty good in Maui. Oh, what a nice move. Chase what Jeter. What a nice move. Chase Jeter. That's what he used to do at Bishop Gorman. Texas and close oh, that nice game pass. out. Inside a foul as Dembele goes up. I mean, just tough. But I imagine it's going to create a little bit of a just too happy that his brother David was let go. He may not be sending a lot of kids. He's now direction. 17 player Jack White. Low bolded and we got a tie up. What do you think of what Duke did today? Player today than the one I've been watching. 34 points, 12 of 16 shooting, six of nine from three-point range, and a couple of superlative dunks. I don't want to make sure people understand. He was still pretty good. Pretty good so hurting. I mean he was a pretty good player. Still playing about 32 minutes a game coming into this one as White clears the rebound and Duke puts the finishing touches on win number 10 this season. Final score 94 45. Well, it's been fun being here with you, Jason. A lot of fun. Beautiful building. Just a terrific building. And you and OB, they'll turn it around.